Kenneth Moore Jr. I am a resident of Baltimore City. I'm a huge film enthusiast. I've loved independent film, independent filmmaking, kind of just the process by which filmmakers make their choices in terms of the content that they want to bring to the small screen or the big screen is intriguing. I see filmmakers, particularly independent filmmakers now as almost like the journalists of our time, telling many of the stories that are not told, giving us an insight into a lot of content and worlds that we may not know a whole lot about. So that's the one thing that's exciting to me about independent filmmaking. They give us an opportunity to peer into some worlds that are beyond our own worlds and we can learn and grow from that knowledge that we gain from that experience. Interesting, it's very interesting how I got into independent filmmaking. I don't know when it first began or what film might have spawned or catalyzed that interest in filmmaking. But I just know, like, for the last 15, 20 some odd years, I've attended independent film festivals all over the East Coast. Some Southern film, film I've gone to different regions in Texas and California. So I've experienced film making from directly interacting with the filmmakers before I ever got more directly involved in it. And that process of learning from the filmmaker, seeing the film and having them be there for a Q and A to be able to interact with them and maybe see some of the subjects of the films there is was always an exciting proposition for me. So that was was something that kinda helped that interest build up within me. And all genres, all types of films, if it's an independent film, and see I'm the type of person that even when I go see theater, I don't need to know what the play is about. So if you show me a film or you tell me there's an independent film, I'll take that journey. I don't need to have a whole lot of primer or trailers or, or prompts to know that this is something that I might be interested in. I'd like to go through the process of exploring and going through the journey with the film and experiencing it in the moment. And then at the end, you know, we all make our assessments of which ones we like better than others. There was, it was definitely an indirect process. It, it, it wasn't something that I sought out and said, I'm going to start a film festival in the city of Baltimore. But it pretty much grew out of the desire that I talked about earlier of love of independent film and seeing perhaps some of the films that I might want to see more of not make their way to Baltimore for whatever reason. And oftentimes they would make their way to Philadelphia. Some of them would go to DC, but it seemed like there wasn't that stop in between in Baltimore. So, and some of them went even further south to some Southern film festivals. So I thought there was an opportunity to begin to show some more of these independent films and give those filmmakers a platform here in the city of Baltimore to showcase their films. And at the same time, I think for selfish reasons, I wouldn't have to travel as far to see some of these great films. They would be here. So that I think that was another reason as well to just be able to be a little closer to the process. And in addition to the films though, I, I really believe that the content of the film is important. So although obviously I love a comedy, I love a film that is, does you know, maybe experimental that doesn't have content that gives you some kind of theme or some kind of message. But I think being someone who's into community and into community organizing or community upliftment, I think films that can educate it as well as entertain, inspire, as well as be cinematically beautiful are, are, are appealing fields as well because then it can serve the community in other ways beyond the richness that the filmmakers bring through their crafts. It also has other things that can help be of interest and, and benefit to the community. Uh, really just kind of not having the film be, the festival be too thematic from the standpoint of we're only going to focus on a certain narrow content. I didn't want a, a festival that was necessarily limited in that, in that regard. But I wanted, there were three things that for me had to happen for the festival and three audiences that I want to 
feel that they were wholly welcome to the festival. And actually, in those audiences, if, if we accomplish that, then then most people would feel welcome. So, so definitely African American filmmakers, actors, writers, producers. So I, I wanted them and films that had content that dealt with African American experience. I wanted that to definitely be at the forefront of the festival. And then, as I mentioned earlier, the the diaspora. I wanted international audiences that and filmmakers to know that there was a place for them at the Baltimore International Black Film Festival. And then also the same gender-loving LGBTQ identified community. I wanted them to know that the festival also wants to bring content specific to that audience, uh, particularly from a black African perspective to the city of Baltimore as part of the festival.